Hello, I'm Professor Philip Furche from University of California, Irvine. This is a video abstract on non-adiabatic molecular dynamic simulations, which generalize conventional molecular dynamics to situations where more than one potential energy surface is important, such as photochemistry and excited state processes. What is a potential energy surface? It is defined by the Born-Oppenheimer approximation, which separates the motion of the nuclei and the motion of the electrons in a molecule. While the Born-Oppenheimer approximation is generally accurate for molecules in their ground states close to the equilibrium structure, it tends to break down whenever two or more surfaces closely approach each other, such as shown here in the picture. Excited state processes such as radiationless decay, charge and energy transfer, as well as photochemical reactions are non-adiabatic, involving at least two or more strongly coupled potential energy surfaces. Understanding non-adiabatic processes is crucial for the design of highly efficient sensitizer dyes and other energy-related materials such as light-emitting diodes. A highly promising computational approach to fast excited state processes is non-adiabatic molecular dynamics. These simulations do not require prior knowledge of the mechanism which is a key advantage when exploring larger systems with strong couplings where the choice of reaction coordinate may be difficult or even impossible. In Tolley's fewest switches surface hopping method, the nuclei are treated classically, and a hop can occur between potential energy surfaces as illustrated here. The main effort in non-adiabatic molecular dynamic simulations is the evaluation of the potential energy surfaces and the non-adiabatic couplings. The method of choice is time-dependent density functional theory for its balance between computational cost and accuracy. In the theory, the electron density is reproduced by a system of non-interacting electrons, and excitation energies are extracted from the response to a time-dependent external field. Forces on the atoms and non-adiabatic couplings are calculated efficiently with analytical gradient methods. Our implementation of surface hopping uses Gaussian basis sets and is available in the Turbomore program. Gaussian basis sets are highly efficient and allow routine use of hybrid density functionals for molecules with up to 100 atoms. The computational efficiency of the time-dependent density functional theory surface hopping method enables up initio on the fly non-adiabatic simulations of relatively large systems such as the photochemical reactions of vitamin D. Observables such as time-dependent emission spectra, quantum yields and reaction mechanisms can be obtained by averaging a large number of trajectories. Here we see an illustrative surface hopping trajectory of provitamin D. Right now the molecule is in its first excited singlet state. The change in electronic structure upon excitation weakens a carbon-carbon bond until it eventually breaks. When the molecule falls back to the ground state, a large amount of energy is transferred from the electronic to the nuclear degrees of freedom, inducing conformational changes and isomerization. In summary, non-adiabatic molecular dynamics is a sophisticated tool to simulate excited state processes with unprecedented realism. Nevertheless, much work remains to be done to make these simulations even faster, more accurate, and more widely applicable.